What's up guys? Uh, today, doing a little work on my anvil, and my anvil stand. Just got a new anvil from a guy down in Hampton. Really hooked me up, uh, took care of me, gave me a lot of materials and stuff that I didn't have. Uh, so I appreciate that, Jason. Uh, but anyway, we'll get to what I'm getting into. This is my anvil stand. I'm cutting some flat plate to put across the top so I can set my new anvil on. And then I've got to make some repairs to these edges right here from the hardened surface to the softer surface. I'll weld all that up, square these corners back up, make it nice. Fix this tip right here, shape that up, get it back to pretty so I can put it to work. Uh, my last anvil that I had mounted on this stand was just a cheap Harbor Freight piece of junk, really. Uh, but you get what you pay for. I just started messing with it. And that one was like 20 bucks. This one is beat up and it was still 250. Most of them are five or 600 bucks. But for where I'm at in my skill set, it's a good way to start. So I'm gonna put this flat plate on, try to reduce some of the noise a little bit and give it a flat place to sit. And then we're gonna start on the anvil. So what I'm gonna do, and set up a video on time lapse because it's going to take a while and just let's see what I'm up to. All right, stand by. All right guys, so what I've done, I went ahead and got my table straight. Got it all the way around, just tacked a bunch of spots. So I have something where sturdy to mount my anvil to. And what I'm gonna start on now is all these cracks where the edge is busted off. I'm gonna build it up with a welder, square up the corner and make it nice and smooth again. Get rid of all these pits and everything because that's where you shape a lot of metal at right there on the anvil. So, we'll set it back to time lapse and see what we got. Hang on. Alright guys, I uh, saved you a bunch of welding and grinding for hours, but I will show you the finished product. Fix the tip. Oh, it was broke off. Fix both sides. 
I think it came out great. There's a few little imperfections in it, but I'm not worried about it. I'm not trying to make brand new. I'm trying to make usable. And some people would say, why not just buy a new one? It isn't worth the trouble. But I think it is. I like old stuff. I like bringing old stuff back. Using it again, repurposing. I just think it's cool. Some people may not be into it, but hey, you know, that's them. But I think it came out well. Welded it to the stand. Got my rubber mat underneath of it so it won't bounce. Try to cut down on some of the vibration a little bit. But I think it came out pretty sweet. I'm going to paint the lower half of it just to keep it from rusting. But I think it came out pretty darn good. I'm tickled pink with it. A lot of work. But it'll last me forever. I don't ever intend on selling it. If I get into it a little bit bigger, a little bit, you know, more stuff, then I may upgrade to a bigger one. But anytime soon, this will do anything I want to do. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, wasn't too boring watching a lot of welding grinding. Uh, like I said, I cut out a bunch of it. But uh, if you like what you see, like, uh, comment, share, subscribe, click the notification button down there, uh, the little bell and it'll uh, let you know whenever I post a new video so you can keep up to date with what's going on. Like I said, you can see I got my boat gas tank right there. I've got to put a full fuel sending unit in. I've got my coils over there I've got to put in. So I've always got stuff going on. Um, and we'll see you at the next one. All right, thanks guys.